Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're unboxing a new model from Spinnaker that arrived a few days ago. I did open it out of the box, but I, I mean out of the bag, but I didn't open this. So I will be, I mean you'll be getting my first impressions as usual. This is the new version of the Rack. So let's open the box and see what we got inside. And according to pictures, or at least as I've seen it in the pictures, it's another crazy and I really mean crazy invention, or not invention, but crazy iteration of a Spinnaker. Uh, Spinnaker sometimes really pushes things too far, but I kind of respect them for that. And just as I was laughing my ass off with that huge, huge bronze one, the, the Picard, I mean, at the same time, I was kind of respecting them for actually making a watch that's 25 or plus millimeters thick. This is also kind of a... Now, I, sometimes I'm, I'm not sure if they're actually serious or if they're kind of making fun, but making fun of people. But this is for all those people that love Wabi Sabi and that love, you know, you know how, how Rolex with tropical dials is more expensive than a Rolex that's actually been serviced correctly and kept in pristine condition. Because a tropical dial is just a fancy word for a watch that's been pretty much ruined by moisture that got into the case. Well, this Spinnaker is for the people that love those kind of watches. And here it is. Their, I believe their slogan or something was like it came out of the sea, like it was buried under, I mean, in the water for years. And it has a lot of this protective plastic. So let's remove that first. Ah, there we go. And here it is. Let's zoom in to see that distressed dial and the faded bezel. Overall, the watch is pretty good looking. It kind of reminds me of a Tudor, a Tudor or Tudor, whatever you want to call it, especially because of this red bezel. And I like the markers, but the hands are a bit different. They're kind of modern with this arrow or, or sword shape, however you want to call it. But look at the extent of damage they've done to this dial. I don't know if it shows on the camera, but when I do my full review, I'll make sure to record these in macro. And I really can't wait to see how it looks in macro. But just like they went a bit too far with, with that Picard, I believe they went a bit too far with this. And like I said, if they're trying to make a serious distressed watch, I know some people like it, it's not for me. But if they're trying to kind of make fun of how distressed watches are getting, you know, more value than actually watches that that have been taken care of. I'm kind of laughing at this because this is pretty distressed. I mean, look at that dial and especially the markers and the loom plots. They're actually like, like there's a fungus living under the dial. I mean, under the, under the crystal. The watch itself is, I believe they say it's 43 millimeters. It's Seiko NH35 as usual. I believe it's a sapphire crystal. And the bezel insert is aluminium, especially if you want to create this faded, faded effect. Let's try the bezel. Ooh, the bezel is really nice and snappy. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Wow. Okay, this is by far the best bezel action I've seen on a Spinnaker so far. And it's really easy to grip because look at the teeth, they're really pointy and sharp. Wow, this is really good. Let's try to put it on my wrist to see how it looks. It's a 43 millimeter, so it's probably gonna be on the border of being too big. Ah, there's a protective film on the buckle as well, so I'll just try to mock it like this, just pull it through the keepers just to see how it looks on the wrist. And there you go, on my 6.7 inch wrist, definitely too too big for my taste, but it's okay. I like the case shape, the case finish. I mean, they even created the finish that looks like a distress, but it's not as funny as the one on the dial. Wow. Now, I'll be doing a full review of this with macro shots and everything, and I'll do my thoughts on it once I spend some time with it. Overall, the, the case, I mean, the, the watch shape and the style is really good, but I would personally prefer a regular modern watch. I mean, 
this look but without the distressed details. But before we go, I'm just interested in one more thing and that's the loom shot. So let's try to charge the watch a bit and see how it looks. Now these also come on a Jubilee bracelet, metal bracelet. This leather strap version is $315 while the Jubilee bracelet version is $350. And if you use my coupon code WATCHGEEK20 you get 20% off. So this drops to I believe $250 and the bracelet version drops to $280 which is a pretty good deal, I mean, considering the specs of the watch, the movement and everything. And like I said, if you're into these distressed watches, I mean, if it's your thing, don't let someone like me tell you that it's wrong. There's nothing wrong. Always buy what you like, not what others like. It's just not my thing. I prefer, I mean, I love vintage watches and I spend months hunting ones that are in pristine condition. So when people deliberately <laughs> ruin a brand new watch I really don't know what to say of it now let's turn off the light and see what the loom is if I can reach the light switch there we go well to be honest the loom is pretty decent but as you can see you have all these black specks which I call fungi but they're probably not they're probably artificially added to the dial and this is something that's going to be evident only in the full review after I put this under, under macro shots to see just how genuine this fake patina looks. And this is like the extreme of fake patina. But like I said, even if it's not my thing, and even, even if I don't like it personally, I always respect Spinnaker for actually trying to do things like these. I mean, pushing things to the extreme. And this is another model like this. So if anything, it's really not boring. Anyways, that's it when it comes to this video, so I'll see you in the full review in a couple of weeks. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.